hip hop. Dedicated to the greatest fans in the world, man. Niner. You know where to find me. 49 on paper right beside me. Nana Empire, check my ID. Ready go to my D I E. We never been a nation, go confuse it. Nana Empire, get with the movement. Look. I don't care if we winning or losing I was born into it, bro, I didn't choose it I rap everywhere and let them know Red and gold till I'm dead and cold, set in stone No limits or boundaries, we trek the globe And use your squad as a stepping stone Been a nine and six, knee high Keys on, candlestick, Levi's Forever faithful and they seeing why Take over they whole stadium when we arrive And we're back. Not very enthusiastically. Mm -mm. No, man. <laughs> the 49ers. Uh, we were asking before we came on the air, where do we go from here? Polly Max said Axel Rose won that. I went right into Guns N' Roses, that sweet child kind of midsection, mm -hmm. the where do we go? I think Axel might have a better idea than the 49ers. Coach Rose. They coach. We'll get him in the, you know what I mean? But he's always late, isn't he? But nice. Yeah. Yes, that's, they get penalized a lot. So obviously, it's a disaster. We all, that's as plain as the nose on our faces, and we both have pretty big noses. We actually. do. Roman so, noses. Um, that's from the Italian or the, well, they say Roman, uh, but the Irish got big nose too, Murph. Yeah. You know. Jim Blossoms. Yeah. Been drinking too much. What can you do? So where do you go? Jason Lock and Four of CBS Sports says they're going to Mike Shanahan as a GM. John and Denise move in. Jed moves out. I mean, does any of this give you comfort? To be totally honest, man, not really. And no disrespect to Mike Shanahan, but these ideas about revisiting the glorious past to kind of prop up the present and the future, most of the time, Murph, it doesn't seem to work. Yeah. I mean, it might take a new, fresh, young mind that we don't even know about yet. But, I, I mean, Shanahan, my initial reaction is, again, with all due respect, maybe not the right time. Well, and the problems run so deep. The <laughs> roster is so bare, and the uh. cupboard is so bare. I mean, it's, it, we're going to have to reshuffle management and the roster. I think basically we're looking at sort of a Raiders-style decade of darkness. This is the um, thing that goes probably through every level of that organization, Murph. I'm talking like the, 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 the custodians, the, the sales guys, the payroll department. The, everybody's got to be examined. Get ready for a decade of darkness. See you next week. What can I say? It's Niners all day. We have three games left, 2016, to endure this madness that's going on. We got the Atlanta Falcons. And we got to go to Los Angeles, take on the Rams. Jeff Fisher just got fired yesterday. So, We'll see what happens on Christmas. we we'll see what the Falcons did to the Rams. And that's what the Niners got to deal with. Wow. See how y'all going to handle that. Then after the Falcons. Somebody said Rams might be the next team we beat. <laughs> That'd be funny if Niners can't beat nobody else this season but the Rams. See, that's what's been happening. There's been crazy stuff going on in the NFL. You got teams like, you got the Cowboys, everybody in, in the league except the New York Giants. And you got teams like Niners. We probably can't beat nobody but the Rams. Oh man, that would be funny. But then after that, he at home against the Seattle Seahawks. What is going on with the Seattle Seahawks? 
Now I'm so over here thinking that man, they gonna come up in Levi Stadium and just But they went up to Lambeau Field. <laughs> just got <laughs> They can't, man. They go up to Levi Stadium and score eight points, and the Niners can't win a football game. <laughs> they ain't got Earl Thomas no more. It's not going to be as hard as everybody would suspect. This season, whew, it's off the hook. Time for Balky, Jed York. Figure out what they're gonna do next. I think Trent broke Balky needs to brainstorm how he's gonna get his job back. I don't see him coming back to this team as general manager. I would sure want somebody to come in here and do something better than what's been happening in these last four years. It's been it's been preposterous been going on with this team for the last four years. How they went from, you know, the Super Bowl team, you know, we seen that Super Bowl 47. I was like, man, that's teams back in the Super Bowl doing things, that's right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen my team win a ring since I was in, you know, I was in the sixth grade, it was 95. The squad won the bowl, so you know, I was ready. See that, and then, you know, this happened. I'm like, you forgot how to win? That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like y'all forgot about winning, and y'all was more concerned with eating. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? It's our turn to eat now. See, Niners fans, we got some power. And not just some power. We got a lot of... Whoever has a GoFundMe account about flying that plane over the stadium and didn't invite me, please invite me to the next one. We want winners. So... What do you want to see happen on this team to make the Niners great again? What, is you, what would you do if you were the general manager? What would you do if you had the power that Jed York has on the San Francisco 49ers, which is about to be taken out of his hand, which is what a lot of us have been waiting for. Now, let's keep that power going. Let's tell them what we want. Niners all day. <laughs>